petty partisan prima donna. That's what Donald Trump's former top White House lawyer is calling Judge Eileen Cannon. It's like the new bleach blonde, bad built butch body, which Democratic Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett coined for Marjorie Taylor Greene. But why is Donald Trump's former White House counsel, Ty Cobb, who by the way, has been very critical of Donald Trump's behavior, has said that Donald Trump violated the law. Why is he calling Judge Eileen Cannon a petty partisan prima donna? Well, ding, 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 because she is. But he's calling her this on the eve of a hearing that she is holding today on Donald Trump's argument that special counsel Jack Smith and the special counsel statute in general is unconstitutional. Thus, Donald Trump is arguing special counsel Jack Smith was unlawfully appointed, that the money appropriated for the special counsel's office was appropriated unlawfully, and as a result, special counsel Jack Smith should be removed, the special counsel's office should be declared unconstitutional, and the case against Donald Trump should be dismissed. The one thing is Donald Trump's argument is absolutely frivolous. The issue has been litigated over the course of many decades, beginning with independent counsel statutes that evolved to the special counsel statute. Courts across the country had dealt with this issue. The Supreme Court's dealt with this issue. Precedent on top of precedent is that a special counsel is permissible. Not only though is Judge Eileen Cannon hearing an argument by Donald Trump on a motion to dismiss the indictment against him on the grounds of an unlawfully appointed special counsel and unlawful appropriations, Judge Eileen Cannon has invited into her courtroom various third party groups just because she's turned her courtroom into an absolute circus groups affiliated with Citizens United and other far right-wing groups, for example, ask that they not only attend the hearing, not only submit what's called amicus briefs or uh, participate as amici curi, as friends of the court in the form of a submission of a written brief, they ask to attend and, and argue like their parties. And Judge Cannon's like, come on in, let's turn my courtroom in Fort Pierce into an utter circus. Come right in and show up. So let me just show you the video right here. This is Donald Trump's former top White House lawyer, Ty Cobb. This guy worked in the Trump White House, to be clear. That's why I say these issues are not partisan. Like They should not be political issues. You've got Donald Trump just violating the law. You've got MAGA lawlessness. But even here, a mainstream conservative, a former person who worked at the Trump White House, the top White House lawyer under Trump, is saying what Judge Cannon's been doing is improper and that she is a petty partisan prima donna. Let's play this clip. Tomorrow, Ty Cannon's going to hear arguments, you know, in, in, as Evan said, three hearings over the next few days. But tomorrow, it's uh, arguments for an evidentiary hearing. It's, this all comes down to a request by Trump's team. They want to get Jack Smith fired, get, get rid of him as special counsel, say it's invalid in the Mar-a-Lago case. So what's really at stake here? So nothing really uh, in the sense that the law requires that she uh, validate Jack Smith's appointment and, you know, not disqualify him. Um, you know, the, the jurisprudence on this goes back to 1988 when the independent counsel statute, which preceded the special counsel uh, appointments, um, when the independent counsel statute was fully vetted in the Supreme Court and, up, and uh, upheld. Um, you know, the D.C. Circuit has upheld the special counsel appointments. Uh, as, as Evan pointed out, other district court judges have done it. This has been routinely litigated. Uh, it's not gonna be routinely litigated tomorrow. I mean, the mere fact she's having a hearing rather than just denying the motion, yeah. as Judge Shilin, uh pointed out uh, previously on CNN is, is silly. Uh, the fact she doesn't deny most of these motions without a hearing is silly. Uh, the fact that Trump can get a hearing, you know, at, on the flimsiest arguments is shocking. Uh, but the other thing that's more uh, fascinating about tomorrow is, you know, she's, She's not just listening to the parties tomorrow. She's opened this hearing, you know, to outsiders. People not even participating in the litigation are going to have a chance to uh, uh, to say say their piece. I, you know, the worst thing that could happen.
to her is that she actually does rule for Trump on this because that would go to the 11th Circuit. And then I think this, uh, you know, uh, petty uh, partisan prima donna would be put in her place and they would remove her. All right, petty partisan, petty partisan prima donna. Uh, alliteration at its best. Ty, thank you. And it should be noted as well that there was reporting yesterday uh, from the New York Times bombshell report that the supervising judge in the Southern District of Florida, the chief judge of the uh, of the court, and another federal judge in the Southern District where Judge Eileen uh, Cannon is a judge, when the Trump criminal case was assigned to Judge Cannon, they went to Judge Cannon based on this New York Times report and said, Judge Cannon, recuse yourself. It's a bad look for you. It's a bad look for the federal judiciary in general. Trump appointed you. You should not be hearing this case. Also, Judge Cannon, you were previously reversed twice by the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals. According to the New York Times report, this is what the senior judges and the chief judge of the entire Southern District of Florida said to Judge Eileen Cannon that you were overturned twice by the 11th Circuit for the way you handled the search warrant that was executed at Mar-a-Lago. You need to stay away from this case, Judge Cannon. Also, they said to Judge Cannon, according to this New York Times report, this makes a ton of sense. Your courtroom in Fort Pierce doesn't even have the capabilities for you to hear a case involving classified information. You don't have a skiff a sensitive compartmented information facility. So taxpayer dollars would have to build a skiff in your courtroom or Judge Cannon just give this case to a judge who understands the law, who's handled a case involving SEPA before. SEPA stands for Classified Information Procedures Act. Judge Cannon had almost no trial experience, zero experience with SEPA, and her courtroom wasn't equipped to handle a SEPA case, but Judge Cannon said, nope, she wanted to handle the case. Mind you, the chief judge in the Southern District of Florida, Altenega, Chief Judge Cecilia Altenega, she is a George W. Bush appointee. So, she, I mean, she's a conservative judge and she said, Cannon, don't, don't take this case. But Judge Cannon made the taxpayers build a skiff at the Fort Pierce courthouse where she's the only judge despite having no trial experience. And then she's engaged in petty, partisan, prima donna tactics that have brought shame on the once proud Southern District of Florida court. And all of the other judges feel that her taint is now rubbing off on them and that she's embarrassed the entire judiciary. They are humiliated by her behavior. The whole judiciary pretty much is humiliated by, by her behavior. But as Donald Trump's own former White House lawyer, Ty Cobb is saying there, the best thing that could happen is let her make the wrong ruling here, and then she can finally be removed by the 11th Circuit after this ridiculous charade that she is doing over and over again. It should also be noted that she's devoting multiple days to this issue of the unlawful appointment of the special counsel. Again, totally frivolous. Shouldn't, there should be no hearing, and it's sua sponte on its own initiative, these motions should be rejected. But she's only allowing a very small amount of time for Jack Smith's request to modify the conditions of Donald Trump's release so Donald Trump can't create more death threats against law enforcement, the FBI and the DOJ, by lying that he is the, that Donald Trump's claiming that they're trying to assassinate him based on the standard use of force policy that exists in every search warrant throughout the United States of America, no matter who you are, it's the same use of force policy. Judge Cannon says, yeah, we'll have a very short hearing for that, but I wanna hear multiple days, multiple hours on Donald Trump's already frivolous theory that special counsel Jack Smith is unlawfully appointed and that the money appropriated is unlawful. But that's why I wanted to play you Donald Trump's own lawyer in his own words. So you could hear it. That's Donald Trump's former top White House lawyer. No longer representing him. But I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million together.
Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.